Hello everyone, it's Barbara. So today I'm sitting in a capsule on the top of a cliff in Rimrock, Arizona, which is about, um, I don't know, 20 minutes south of Sedona. And today I was going to go through the Grand Canyon and and check out some vortexes, but it's been pouring all day. So that really didn't work because I don't want to be walking around in muddy mudslide areas. Um, plus they said that there's like no visibility because of the clouds. So my hosts at the B&B here um, did, uh, they, they hosted a meditation class and they invited me along. So I was gone for about three and a half hours um, doing some meditation. And the cool thing, or the interesting thing was, there were more men than women. Now, in Minnesota, it's mostly women <clears throat> that are on this spiritual journey, or at least it seems that way in, the, in central Minnesota. Not everywhere, probably more in the cities, but in central Minnesota, it's mostly women. So it was very refreshing to see uh, more men than women and young men. <clears throat> so I am back here in my little capsule. It's called the Eagle Eye because it's on the top of a cliff and there's a big window at that end of the capsule. It's, it's kind of like a gypsy wagon called a Varga only it's not on wheels, it's on a cliff. And that end is just one big dome and it's literally hanging off the cliff. I love it. There's a river below me. Um, there's all kinds of trees. I wouldn't want to fall <laughs> because it would be a long way down, <clears throat> but it's very beautiful. And I'm hoping that tomorrow morning I'll get to see a sunrise. Um, this morning it was all clouds. Another cool thing about where I'm staying here is there's a wolf sanctuary pretty much next door. So last night I could hear wolves howling. And the couple that's hosting this, they have a pair of dogs that are part dog, part wolf. So then of course they were howling as well. It, I like it. I'm a dog person. What can I say? And I love wolves. I have wolf as a spirit animal guide. So it's just kind of, kind of fit right in. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm shuffling cards while I'm talking because I wanted to set the, uh, the atmosphere, so to speak. Um, because I'm going to do one card, maybe I might do more cards. I, I feel like I, my intention was to do one card, but I think I might have to do more than one. And this is for the general energy for not just today, Saturday, but I feel like for the next three days. Um, if it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, let it go. As with every reading, if it resonates with you, take it on in, embrace it. If it doesn't, say, ah, that's not for me today. It's okay. So, today I have the... I brought, I have to, I have to share this with you. I drove here from Minnesota. My car was fully loaded or is fully loaded. Um, several people laughed at me like, oh my God, you're taking all that. Okay. But what you don't understand is one suitcase is full of crystals and tarot decks and Oracle decks. I mean, I'm not leaving them at home. <laughs> it's not all clothes. <laughs> so today... I have the Spirit of the Wheel Meditation deck. I love this deck. I love the artwork. That's Jody Bergsma art. So I'm going to start with one card, and then we're going to read out of the book. And it's this one right here, like practically jumping out. Interesting. So it's raining here, like I said earlier, and... Um, one of the reasons that I'm here in Arizona 
is so I can pretty much have a change of life. I don't know what that means. We usually don't. Um, so I'm just, I'm going with the flow. And today's card is the Frog Clan. And this is all about releasing. Releasing that which no longer serves us. It could be releasing physical toxins. It could be releasing spiritual toxins. Um, it's all about healing. Now, whether you believe in dark energies or lower frequency energies or not, I'm going to share this story with you. Um, let's see, last night I stayed here. The night before that, I stayed a little bit north of Albuquerque. And I was meditating while I was in bed, trying to go to sleep. Because when I drive for 12 hours, I have a really hard time sleeping because I feel like I'm still driving. So I'm meditating and all of a sudden I felt this dark energy whoosh up out of the ground and it was all black and yucky and it looked like a hand and it was trying to take me down. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't think so. You're not getting me. So I rose above it spiritually, of course, astrally. I rose above it and then I looked down on it and I saw this black tarry wasn't a hand but because it was a lot bigger but it was kind of like doing that and I just shot unconditional love and light at it and it just went right down into the ground it always makes me feel good when I could do that because you know no matter how much darkness there is, or if there's darkness, the light always wins. If you can bring in the light, the light wins. Every time. Not most of the time. Not sometimes. All of the time. But you have to be strong, and you have to be an intercessor, and you have to call in the light. You bring it in. That's our purpose here. Maybe that's why I drew this card. Our purpose here is to be the bridge between heaven and earth. Earth is the material world. It's, it's things. It's not spirituality. Spirituality is up there. It's in a higher realm. And our job is to bring that into this material world to bridge the gap. So this frog card to me speaks of that. The frog can be in the water. He can be on the land. He can be in the air. If he's up on a stone, he's in the air. So the frog is very powerful for bridging the gap. And providing that healing and helping to release toxins. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm supposed to draw two more cards. So, let's see what we have. This one here wants to jump out. This is the Strength card, Spirit Path of the West, offering assistance, mediation, and patience. Now, I was just talking about being the bridge between heaven and earth and being strong when it comes to dark energies being in our lives. And so this card is all about asking for assistance. Because you look at the animals that are in this card. They're very powerful. Look at that bear. Very powerful. The eagle and the wolf. Those are three very powerful animals. Now, they can be spirit guides. I actually have a spirit animal guide of each one of those. Um... 
The bear reminds me of one of my spirit guides. He's a polar bear, but he wears tie-dye shorts. I didn't put them on him. That's how I knew he was for me, though. <laughs> so we've got three very powerful spirit animal guides. And they bring us strength. And all we have to do is ask for it. When you wake up in the morning, instead of going, oh, yeah, it's another day, say, thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides, spirit animal guides. Thank you for giving me the strength to get through today and everything that I need to do today. Um, thank you for giving me guidance. Thank you for helping me on my path and on my mission. This is important because... We are not just here. We're not just here to live. We're here to be alive. To be alive. Are you alive? What makes you feel alive? A lot of times we get in a rut and we just kind of go through the motions. Whether it's with a relationship or a job, that is not being alive. For me today, being alive is being in this little capsule on the top of a cliff and it's raining like crazy out there and the road to get here is the scariest road I've ever been on in my life. And I love the, the hosts here, but Dan drives crazy. And so for me, I felt really, really alive while we were traversing this crazy holy and I don't mean spiritual I mean road with holes that you know could swallow up a Volkswagen um, that were full of water oh and by the way you have to go through a river on this road now you don't go over the river you drive through the river yeah um, so I lost my train of thought. So for me, I was feeling very, very alive today because this is out of my normal living conditions. Out of the box. Out of the rut. And that's what we need to do. If you feel like you're in a rut, you need to do something to change. To change your everyday conditions. It could just be something really, really small. Or it could be something huge. It's up to you. And that's the cool part. Because we all have free will. And you can do whatever you want. But if we could change something in our lives. To make us a better person. We need to do that. And so my question for you is. Who are you? What do you want? What do you want from life? What do you want to do? When I do healings with people and they talk about the sadness in their lives or the boredom or whatever, I say, well, what do you want to do? And they'll say, oh, well, you know, my dream is to do blah, blah, blah. And I'll say, okay, now what's stopping you from doing? Because we are the ones that stop us. We are the ones that limit ourselves. We all have excuses. I don't have the time. I don't have the money. When my spirit guides told me to go on this adventure, those were my excuses. I don't have the time and I don't have the money. And they said, go. This is a show of faith. Have faith in your spirit guides. Because if it's meant to be, destiny will grab a hold of you, will grab a hold of me, and pull us where we need to be. And make it worth our while. Life is too damn short to say, wow, I'd really like to do that, but. If you really, really want to do it, stop finding excuses and do it. And it's okay to ask for strength. All right. So the first card, by the way, was card number six. And the second card was card number 40. Let's see what that third card is going to be.
Spirit says, <clears throat> the Butterfly Clan. The butterfly Clan. Mental clarity, awakening, and beauty. And it's card number eight. Now, the butterfly is all about transformation. It's really interesting because right now, I'm in a cocoon. This is a cocoon on the top of a cliff. So, in the cocoon, what do we do? We change. When the caterpillar goes in the cocoon, makes the cocoon. He doesn't go in the cocoon with a knowing of what's going to happen later. He goes in the cocoon because it's the right thing to do. And he trusts in spirit. He uses his intuition. I need to build a cocoon. It's my time. And he doesn't have, he doesn't spend his time in his cocoon thinking about the past or the future. He's in his cocoon being a caterpillar and then changing. He's not even focusing on the change. He's allowing the change to occur. So many times we get things to help us change. We do things to help us change. But really what we need to do is just allow the change to come to us. Be the butterfly. Now, another interesting thing is the butterfly never goes back into the cocoon. He emerges from the cocoon. And he doesn't say, oh man, I don't want to be in this world. How many times have we said that? Oh, this is too hard. I don't want to do this. The butterfly doesn't go back in the cocoon. And he doesn't wish he was back in the cocoon because he's using his intuition and going with the flow. And he just knows where he's supposed to be. Okay, I came out of the cocoon. Today I'm going to dry everything off. I'm going to clean myself up. And oh, I need to go that way. Life would be so much simpler if we did that. On my trip here, I literally left with no itinerary. I didn't know where I was staying. I just drove and drove and drove. And if I felt like stopping, I stopped. If I didn't, I didn't. Um, yesterday, when I passed into Arizona, I thought, okay, well, it's, it was like um, one or two o'clock in the afternoon. And all of a sudden there's the exit for Walnut Canyon. I didn't even know what it was, but a friend of mine said it was pretty. So I thought, okay, let's stop. So I pulled off and you have to drive a few miles off away from the freeway. And it was absolutely stunning. And I did a meditation while I was on this overlook and my vertigo was really, really intense because I'm looking way, way, way down. And there were these two hawks that showed up and it was just magnificent. I was putting healing energies into all the animals and the stones and the earth and the plants and the trees and the air and the water. And I got down on my hands and knees and I cried like a baby because it was so incredibly emotional and beautiful. And I was living in the moment. And then this couple came. <laughs> they probably thought, oh my gosh, who's this crazy lady? <laughs> Kneeling down on the ground crying. <laughs> but you can't let things like that bother you. <laughs> it was kind of funny though. So for today, we've got, we'll do these in order. We've got the Frog Clan, which is all about releasing and healing. And you have to know that you are perfect exactly the way you are right now, today. While you're listening to this and you're living in the moment right now, you are perfect for right now. And tomorrow, you're going to be perfect for tomorrow. And you need to know this. Stop 
listening to other people telling you you are not perfect because the universe doesn't create mistakes. The universe doesn't create imperfections. The universe creates perfection every day and you are part of that. Okay? You are loved and you are perfect for today, for you. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. The second card was strength. Asking for strength. Ask for help. This has been a hard one for me because um, pride gets in the way. I have to be that person that's the warrior. I'm the strong one. I'm the one that everybody else goes to. Guess what? I need strength too. And once we realize that, and then it's okay to ask for help. Suck up that pride and ask for help. It doesn't make you less of a person. Okay? Learn from me. Sometimes we're the person everybody else goes to, and sometimes we're the person that needs help from somebody else. The last card was that butterfly clan card. It was all about transformation. So we're healing and releasing. We're strong and we're asking for strength. And we're transforming. Now I know why three cards were it for today. Because this is a very powerful trifecta. So, that is your reading for today. And I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it resonates with you. And I will be doing some more videos from Arizona as I can. Um, hopefully tomorrow I can do videos outside. <laughs> so you all have a blessed day. Namaste, and thank you for joining me. I love you all, and you're all perfect exactly as you are.